The science of networks has been growing for quite a while, and we know from that science that people's attitudes and their behaviors are in large part influenced by the networks in which they are embedded. The question then is, how do we find out what are the networks in which people are embedded? When we want to understand what drives a complex behavior or causes one group to experience the world differently from another, we need to look to the structural contexts in which people are embedded. This is why we created Network Canvas, a collection of software designed to simplify complex network data collection. Network Canvas is a tool that allows researchers to collect data about the social systems around a person and trying to make it as easy as possible, both for the participant and then also for the researcher. And this is to really help people who might not know anything about network data collection to actually be able to do this research. We sort of learned firsthand by just struggling with um, the amount of effort and resources that it really took to collect good data. Especially the work I do around HIV, it's not just individual level factors, it's these more complicated sexual, social network factors. And if people can't collect that data, they can't measure it. We found ourselves building our own solutions and just realized that everybody sort of needed something that we were building in order to capture this data. Because network data is complex, it's famously difficult to capture, manage, and store. This is why Network Canvas is made up of three separate apps. It has a tool for survey design, a tool for interviewing, and a tool for secure data management. Each of the applications has its kind of has come from a, a different challenge that we faced, you know, using this type of data and creating this, uh, these interviews and deploying them. Architect is where you'll design and implement your study. Here, you can easily model the nodes and edges you want to capture and create as many variables as you'll need to store their attributes. You can also define the stages of the interview by choosing one of the many tailor-made interfaces we've created and customizing its functionality to suit your needs. You can add prompts using rich text, set up special behaviors like bringing in data from an external file, and preview the experience that your participants will have right from within the app. You know, the architect was out of the, the need previously to kind of hand program every uh, questionnaire. We've been, we've been lucky enough to work with folks that can do that, um, but we know that you know, we can't do that ourselves and many people don't have those kind of uh, opportunities. So Architect really takes that away and you know, using a very graphical intuitive interfaces, uh, you can build your interview uh, to deploy. The Network Canvas app is where your participants will complete your study. Designed around the face-to-face -face interaction between interviewer and participant, the app runs on a wide variety of devices, including tablet and desktop computers. Each interface your participants see has been specifically designed around the data collection requirements of a network interview. Our interfaces are strongly visual and use consistent interactions such as dragging and tapping to collect high quality data without high response burden. Network Canvas is meant to be done as an app on a tablet or on a computer by an interviewer with somebody else. And what we're trying to do is provide a very coherent experience so that the people that are doing this feel like it's their network and that they understand the process. The third of our apps is called Server. It provides a way to deploy your interview protocol to your study devices and securely receive data back from them. You can see the data you've collected in real time from your overview dashboard. When you're ready, you can export your data for further analysis in the software of your choosing. We didn't stop at Network Canvas. We, we built a server, or the Network Canvas server. So that's a, that's a secure server that a person can run on, on a computer in their lab that will then connect to Network Canvas field devices. And then those devices will send that data securely back to the researcher's own computer. It's never going on Dropbox or on Google or anywhere else. It's meant to be a secure uh, feature. Even when we had this really cool, uh, you know, a previous version where we could uh, collect this data with a visual interface, um, we had tremendous difficulties getting that data out, um, being able to manage that, monitor it, um, and then get it in a usable format. Um, so the server application dramatically kind of simplifies that process where we can get uh, the data very quickly off the interview devices and into you know, whatever analysis program folks want to use. Our goal is to provide a completely free set of software for the research community that is open, extendable, high quality, 
and built for the needs of researchers of all kinds. We are certainly hoping that in the long term a project like this will grow organically as we go further. And so one of the ways in which that will happen is having people who might have slightly different application contexts and see how they might be able to adapt this in those particular contexts. And we welcome those opportunities. I'm really excited to see this in practice being used in people's studies, in lower resource settings, in places where people who couldn't normally use network data collection tools are able to do it. It's important to have people who can do this, not just in academic institutions with a lot of support, but also at public health departments and community-based organizations and smaller places that might value this data and know it's important, but not actually be able to collect it or use it on their own. The important part of Network Canvas is that um, it is open source, it is open to the community, um, it does not cost anything, and we built it that way because we feel like it's so important to sustain the, the program, we really need the involvement of the community. So hopefully if people have, you know, uh, they have a totally different idea of what they would like within the interview, um, within the server application, within the architect, then they can go ahead and edit that, modify it, and you know, uh, then everyone can use those tools as well. This is just the first step. We're exploring what are other ways that we can utilize this technology and similar methods to um, make it easier to understand each individual's world and how can researchers better understand that and take that into account in um, research studies. It's not about extracting data from people, it's about co-creating an object that we're going to learn from. Visit our website, networkcanvas.com, to learn more.